Hello, hello, hello to all of my Capricorns. This is Queen Amun Ra. Let's get right into your reading. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. This reading is for the 12th of February through the 28th of February. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's see what your cards have to say. So currently we're starting to feel the effects and we've been feeling it for like a day or two already of this last quarter moon in Scorpio. If you want to know the questions for the last quarter moon in Scorpio, it's in last Sunday's reading. Go check that out if you haven't already seen that video, which also may have gone up on um, last Saturday, may have gone up on the 11th of um, the month. I'm sorry, the 4th of the month. So Sundays, we have questions. You all know that. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Let's get right into your reading. We're going to have uh, new questions for this upcoming um, cycle, which is a new moon in Pisces. So we're going to run you through this week and also what's to come, you know. So here's what's coming up. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Here we have the five of pentacles. We have the four of pentacles, the six of pentacles, the three of swords, we also have the Seven of Swords and also the King of Swords. All right, let's go. So, all right. Three feminine, three masculine. Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, and also the Six of Pentacles. Let's look at it. Okay, this is Five of Pentacles. This is the Four of Pentacles, and this is the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so one... Somebody is still kind of in this space of like looking for some kind of an approval for, from their family. And that's what somebody's emotional crutch is. So this, this cycle that we're in, the last quarter moon specifically in Scorpio, right? That starts on the 13th. Um, somebody's heart is, somebody is deeply disappointing. Like somebody has left behind some master manipulate. This is the um, seven of swords, the three of swords, and also the king of swords. Somebody has left behind some master manipulators in their family. And like the heart, your heart, the heart chakra is tricky because it's connected to thinking. So at the beginning, we talk about your root chakra here, which is developed between the ages of zero and seven. At somebody's root, if you're if you're in a family of master manipulators and people who are, you know, gave you this twisted idea of what family is supposed to look like, like let's say somebody could have been in a family where a family of hoarders, like hoarding memories, and every time you turn around, you hear about arguments of things that happened like years ago or you moved around a lot, or it's just like a lot of chaos and confusion at the root. Somebody has been using that as a, as, as a crutch instead of saying, it's time for me to get my root chakra in alignment. It's time for me to get rooted and grounded and creating a life that I need for myself. So source is saying to you, be more conservative with your time because your time is your money. And it will also cut into this right here. Keep thinking about what you had to leave behind and how disappointing and heartbreaking it is. Source is saying to you, it's time for healing. It's time for mending your own broken heart, you know, with these things. Your heart chakra is developed between the ages of 22 and 28. So if the at the beginning, things weren't right in terms of like your, your very beginning, your root chakra, by the time you got to a stage where, you know, most people had their first love or second love or thinking that they know what love is, things have been so out of alignment from the root chakra that your idea of love is even tricky. Like that may cause somebody to overstay in a relationship. Maybe you felt like, like I said, there's a lot of things that's going on here. The source wants, what wants you to deal with your shadow self. Like, what is it? Why, why can't you just break up with somebody? Like, why do you feel like you got to keep nurturing energies? Maybe you grew up in a house where either that happened or you said, no, I, I, I don't, and you're trying to be the, the like the polar opposite of that. That's what Source is trying to say is like, you need to get your root together. Like you need to get your root chakra together. So the last quarter moon phase, and this is what I want you all to focus on this week before we get to the questions. This is what I want you to focus on this week. First of all, Scorpio is a water sign. It's emotion, right? And so what do we use to grow seeds that you plant in your soil since you're an earth sign? Water, right? So Source wants you to dig up all that toxic water from your childhood 
and that thing that threw your heart chakra out of alignment and why do you keep giving people chance after chance after chance after chance like i said somebody could have moved around a lot and still looking for people's acceptance like i i just want to fit in i just want to be a part of um, I don't, I don't want to feel abandoned by my friends or people that I love. So I got to feel like I got to keep staying in stuff, staying in relationships, even though I know that it's unhealthy for me. So I just want you to work on that. Like really, really work on that. Last quarter moon phase is, a, encourages a time of introspection, a time of introspection. Root chakra, we mentioned one time before root chakra is, um, you could have experienced, um, Feelings of being anxious, like accident prone, financially unstable, constantly moving homes, disorganized, um, because your root chakra deals with your your stability, your security, your vital your vitality, your loyalty, your prosperity, your patience, your tenacity, um, your career success. So, it looks like something was thrown out of alignment in those early years, and like how you saw. Like your definition of stability and security may have been thrown out of alignment, but keep something in mind. Like, so this cycle has been about finding your son, finding your life purpose. Everything should be built around that. Like when you think about the, the universe, everything is surrounding the sun, right? So your entire universe, your moon sign, your rising, your Venus, your Pluto, your Saturn, your Uranus, Venus, um, your uh, Neptune, all the planetary placements are conspiring together to get you to your purpose here on life. So that means that you have to set the you have to set the rules in your own universe. And it's okay if other people don't align with what you already set in place in your universe. So a lot of people learn backwards. I got to get the husband and the wife, and I got to get the the high paying job, and I got to. And somebody, and sometimes people end up in situations that they resent. Like, I don't really like my job, but because I purchased this house, this car, I've created this lifestyle, I got to stay on this job and it's not even your purpose. Or I got to stay in this relationship because here we are together. We got years together. All these friendships, everything is supposed to be centered around your purpose. It's all about you. It's your purpose. You're here on earth for something and it's not for you to be in misery and confusion and all of that other stuff so that's what i'm seeing for you all so far um so some of the rituals you can do during the last quarter moon like i said last quarter moon is from the 13th and we're already feeling it because it's usually a couple of days before the actual date of that moon phase that we're in and a new moon phase starts on the 13th but we start to feel it's like it overlaps from full moon to now we're feeling this the wait the mooning is a waning gibbous moon until we get to the um last quarter moon so you've already been feeling it it looks like there are going to be some downloads some some information coming through whether it's dreams or whether it's the first thought that pops into your mind it just seems like well, where did that thought come from is to help you to get rooted and grounded and get your heart chakra back in alignment. To really, really get your heart chakra in alignment, right? Some of the rituals that you can do is some take some time to reflect on the lessons of this lunar cycle. Like, am I in my purpose? Do I feel like I'm, I'm walking in my purpose? We're not talking about a job title. We're talking about the thing that that um, ignites a flame in you when you think about doing it. When I get, when I do this, I'm excited about it. Or when I think about that, I'm drained. Like identifying energy leaks and also energy hacks. We also see, here we have the Six of Swords letting me know that somebody is going to be sailing away from some energies. Sailing away from some energies that you just feel like, you know what, I'm disappointed um, in this energy, but I need to move on with my life. I, I really need to move on with my life and get to dry land. So those emotions about something that was draining you is drying up, right? You're getting to dry land, dry land about something instead of feeling like, I got to I got to go back and save this person from my childhood that was actually exhausting me, right? That was actually exhausting me. There could be an Aries in somebody's life cuz this emperor card is attached to Aries that you could feel like I need to go ahead and release it. I I need to go ahead and release that energy. Something that has been keeping somebody awake. Something that has been keeping somebody awake. Remember Aries and Scorpio also share the same planet Mars and we are in a we're starting, we're already feeling the effects 
um, of last quarter moon in Scorpio. So it could be a Scorpio or an Aries, you know, in your life where you said, I need to go ahead and part ways with that. I, I need to go ahead and finally get as far away from that as possible because that is such an emotional drain on me that I can't even see the key to my own vault that is, I need to sever ties. I need to take action to sever ties. Watch how quickly somebody has a breakthrough when you walk away from highly manipulative energies. You don't have to know their full birth chart and it may not, it may or may not be an Aries or a Scorpio, but all you need to know is that when you give it, that spirit, any kind of energy, you feel drained. So disappointed that it's just like, wow, I can't even believe, I can't even believe that you're, you're like that, right? And so here we have the two of wands and also the eight of wands. You have a whole world in front of you. Like source is saying, when you look out over expansion, it's like at a higher frequency, source is trying to send a lot of things to you quickly. So you're going to have to, whatever names source sends down into your spirit, you have to initiate the action. Like you're already a divine feminine sign and Scorpio is also divine feminine energy too. So you're already used to receiving downloads, right? So allow the moon and Scorpio to do just what I said in the last read, last Sunday's reading, which is let it go, like take you to the depth of emotion so that you can uproot anything that deeply hurts you or is unhealthy let it come to the surface let that water bring it to the surface so you can get it out of your universe you can release it so that means if you have pictures of people you know if you have text messages emailed anything that's connected to them that you feel like um you feel like it's just draining every time you think about it it doesn't matter who it is when I say, because we're talking about a spirit that has been heavy on somebody's mind. Don't even be surprised if you hear their voice or hear like, like their name pops up and you hear, feel like you're hearing a full on conversation um, from some people. That's just Source's way of saying, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just letting you know that there's no reason for you to go back. Here we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Moon card, the King of Pentacles, the High Priestess. The Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. I'm even I'm talking to you not only if you're Capricorn, but also on the cusp of Capricorn. But again, if you have Capricorn anywhere in your birth chart, I'm talking to you as well. So yeah, it's somebody, it's some people that you left behind, and it's not just them. They're pulling in as many energies as they can to talk to burn your reputation, to continue burning things to the ground. So it doesn't matter who they are. They could be recruiting your siblings. They can be recruiting other family members. They can be recruiting whoever is on that same low vibrating frequency that they're on. They're recruiting all those energies to listen to the woe is me and this person Capricorn did all these horrible things to me and all of this other stuff Capricorn. So you got to be able to stay focused, literally stay focused because this is what you're moving into. Again, an enormous amount of wealth and also your legacy that they won't have any access to. So you're moving from the five of pentacles when you can completely sever ties with them and just release them in love. And I'm talking about using your sword. This is where you're going to have to take action, cutting off the numbers. I mean, cutting off conversations about them. Even people are like, you know, you know, you shouldn't cut them off and maybe you should forgive them and maybe everybody can come together and talk. You're going to have to really decide the answer is no. It's a firm no. It's a firm no. I'm not trying to have conversations about that. I've already forgiven them, but their energy is just too counterproductive. It just, it causes too much stress. Every time I think about it, it takes me in a, a different direction. And we have the Ace of Swords again coming through twice. Somebody's having a double breakthrough. And so again, new money also is coming across your path. But a lot of people, depending on who it is, a lot of people are not really ready to go to the next level because it's like, I got to get everybody else's approval. Again, six of pentacles. Well, I'll cut them off if you cut them off. So it's just like, you're not them. Your purpose on earth is not the same as theirs. So you're looking for another per person's approval or green light. Again, you're going to human when source is like, I want you to go to come to me. I'm telling you that energy is going to push you further away through distractions from your purpose. So I do see somebody getting their foundation intact and like getting their heart intact. You're saying, I need to get my foundation intact. I need to create a different life than maybe what you saw, you know? And so a lot of opportunities are coming your way. We have the eight of swords. We also have the eight of wands. We have the knight of wands. We have the temperance card. 
We have the wisdom card and also the high priestess came out twice. So again, somebody's definitely a spiritual healer. Somebody is um, somebody is highly spiritually gifted, like really, really. And you could already be working in your spiritual gift. You could be a reader. You could be a, uh, a shaman. You can be a Reiki master, pastor, priest, whatever, minister. You could, you're all, somebody is already, that's somebody's purpose, you know? So job title doesn't really come into play because again, your purpose, your purpose makes room for you everywhere. Like wherever you go, doesn't matter what your job title is, but somebody's extremely wise. Somebody's extremely wise, like you have this voice of wisdom. So age doesn't equate to wisdom, no matter what your age is, but you have this voice of wisdom. And so as long as you keep giving these energies, your thoughts, it's self-sabotage. You're already out of the woods. You're already. And so if you could see how, let me see if I can bring this in closer. You can see these, these, um, these restrictions are not even tight. This lets me know that this is in somebody's mind. Like what they did, whoever it was, the conversations really cut deep like a sword. Um, but again, somebody's already left those energies behind. So this is something you can really just shake off. Like I'm gonna listen to some heart chakra music to get my heart chakra back in alignment. I forgive you, but you have no more access to me ever. I don't need another person's opinion as to, am I going to look like the bad one for cutting you off? No, I don't need anybody's opinion. I just remember how it makes me feel and it's time for me to move on. So we also have the eight of wands twice. Watch how quickly things go for you. Like, and I'm talking about like how fast we like, when you pray for something, boom, something come, happens for you, you know, as a result of cutting them off. It looks like somebody could be really worried about how other people, what other people are going to say and what other people are thinking. You have to put yourselves first, Capricorn. You really, really have to put yourselves first. Somebody has a guardian angel that's watching over them. That's really encouraging you to see it from an expanded view. Like what are the benefits of staying connected to energies that's constantly hurting you, like causing you heartbreak, causing you to make it look like your emotions, like your compassion is all dried up because you're so thinking you, this is a lot of air. And so, and we're talking about compassion is water. So you're giving it so much air, so much thought to it. It almost looks like you don't have any compassion whatsoever for it. Like you don't have any hurt, any emotion, range of emotions. Like your emotions are unhealthy every time you think about something. So you're going to have to keep explaining to people that you're a really nice person. You just got to get to know me. And then, you know, I won't seem so serious and so melancholy about everything. When sources like you can build your own foundation, just stop using them as an emotional crutch. Because you don't, we don't have control. We don't have dominion over other human beings. So this Knight of Wands, see how this person is up on their horse, galloping away. They're getting as far away from the treachery, as far away from it as possible. So that's what's happening with somebody so far. Let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. So yeah, allow this um, this moon and uh, this moon and Scorpio to download those messages. You guys are about, you got got an advantage of already being in receiving mode anyway right so let let this moon in scorpio send some more messages your way so you can say okay all right i knew i wasn't going crazy losing my mind i need to create the foundation that i know that works best for me the foundation that works best for me here's your questions for this moon in pisces that's coming up on the 20th so remember you got it this week you want to slow down and you want to start um, focusing on what rejuvenates you but at the same time, you're allowing God to download the messages and however, whether it's a dream, what, however God is downloading the messages. And because Scorpio is water energy, don't be surprised if you have night sweats or you feel like, okay, I feel like this urge to go to the gym, to go work out and sweat. Like, I, I feel like I need to sweat, drink more water, all those things, anything having to do with water, sweat, tears, you know, you may even find your eyes watering. Source is trying to, trying to detox your spirit. So allow it to happen so that you can get yourself prepared for the impact you're making on the, your community and the world at large and an, an abundance of wealth. And so this is going to be a huge test for somebody because this is somebody who had access to your life before be, between the ages of zero and seven. That source is like, you, you can't keep using them as a crutch. And you can't keep looking for everybody else to save you, like everybody else to tell you that it's okay to go ahead and release those energies. So here we have the four of pentacles, the ace of wands, the three of cups, the king of pentacles again, the chariot card, and the seven of cups. Here's your question. 
Here's your question, because somebody's at a crossroad. This is the chair. What is it? I just saw it. Somebody's sort of at a, a crossroad. Which which decision should I make? I, I got to make a decision about something. Somebody's at a crossroad about something. And and depending on where you are, somebody may have already, you know, like I said, somebody may already be like this, six of swords. I need to get as far away from that energy as possible. And you may have already, your emotions are drying up about a situation. You don't care if somebody said you don't have any compassion at yourself. You don't even care about all of that anymore. It's like, I got to save myself. But a moon in Pisces. So we're this week is about Scorpio, right? Scorpio is a water sign, deals with the depth of emotions, everything unhealthy and everything that's wounded in your spirit. That's causing you this emotional wounding, like this five of pentacles right here. This, this represents um, emotionally wounded when it comes to relationships with people, money, whatever, right? All of that. So a moon in Pisces um, causes you to be extra sensitive. So think of it this way. So this week is about Scorpio. Scorpio is ruled by one of the ruling planets for Scorpio is the death rebirth. So imagine like leaving a funeral, right? And then having to try to process. So you're very sensitive to death, right? The, or you just went through a divorce or you just went through breaking up friendship. That's what Scorpio feels like a death. Like I'm mourning and I'm not even sure what my spirit is mourning because I can't even see. I haven't talked to these people in years, but this is like bringing all of that unhealthiness to the surface so that you can purge it, right? So Pisces is coming after that. A moon in Pisces, new moon in Pisces means that everybody is going to be extra sensitive. Your manager at work, your kids, everything living is extra sensitive, right? Your pets, everything sensitive, right? Everything living is sensitive because Pisces is the last sign in the zodiac and it's a water sign and it's like the, the catch all for all emotions. So it can be quite overwhelming to a point where somebody feels like I want to put on rose colored glasses. Like this is just too much, right? Emotionally, it's just too much. But again, remember a death rebirth just occurred and it wrapped up on the 19th. So you're still very tender. So that's why you want to get your rest. New moon energy is about getting your rest. Here are your questions. First question is, could you keep opening up and breaking through the walls of protection and defense to heal your deepest wounds with love? That's why I said when you release people, you're releasing them in love. You're tossing the name into a fire pit and you're releasing it in love. You're never looking back. You don't care what people think. You're not looking for anybody's approval. All you know is how it made you feel. That's it. 99 people can tell you, well, you know, you should go back into the lion's den because that's what it would feel like. You, you should come back to this such and such. They invited you to such and they're trying to make amends. They had 99,000 times to make it right, but they didn't, right? So source is saying to you, make a final decision, stand firm on it and move on. It's already behind you. It's already, you're speaking in it, so it's already behind you. Second question is, could you immerse yourself in gentleness and compassion in order to receive and channel true love? Third question is, could you become more connected to the universal unconditional love? Fourth question is, can you create healthy boundaries so that you don't take on others' energy? Remember, it's going to be a very sensitive time leaving a death rebirth, that's the moon in Scorpio, to now I'm having compassion towards things. So I don't hate you. I just, I have to save myself, I need to release you forever. Somebody, some people, right? And then last but not least is, do you, do you clean and replenish your energy daily? That's listening to sacral chakra music every single day, even for five minutes, listen to it so that you can keep cleaning out those wounds. Again, a death rebirth, you're going to have to replenish, keep yourself loaded up on water because there's been a spiritual dehydration here, spiritual dehydration, right? So we have, let's get back to a king of pentacles twice. Some, a source is trying to make somebody double wealthy. The amount of wealth that's coming up into your life, trust me, if you let some people back into your life, um, you hear about these celebrities whose parents, now I'm not saying that your parents have done this to you, but, or would do this to you, but you hear about some of these celebrities' parents who, uh, and we, we hear about it all the time on social media. I think more stories are now, you know, people are starting to really like, you know, share some people's stories. 
where they sue their kids, like their kids are the money makers in the family, or they came to some money or whatever. Now, all of a sudden, the the guilt and the shame, you got to take care of me because I took care of you. Well, wasn't that your job? I mean, that was, you didn't want to be a parent and you shouldn't have been a parent, right? Um, that's what I'm seeing here. I, I'm seeing that somebody has... Um, like family members, like I said, between zero and seven, usually it's not just you and your parents. It could be aunts, uncles, it could be cousins or whatever, that somebody may have felt like there was going to be a real threat that when I come into all of this wealth, something may happen. Uh, source is saying to you, whoever you need to let go, the people who love you, they won't do anything to harm you because they're already walking in their own purpose. So they already making their own money. They already have their, their firm foundation, right? So you don't have to be afraid to release people. You don't. Here we have the Ace of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles came out twice. Again, further reiterating that somebody has been overthinking something having to do with what they left behind in the past. It's the moon card right here. People talking about you and you know, plotting and planning to try to sue people and trying to, what can I get my hands on somebody's money? Or, you know, if I can, if I can ruin their foundation or I can cut them down a couple of pegs, that kind of thing, as far as you're concerned, you don't even have to get stressed out and be tempted to vibrate low to even figure out what they're plotting and planning or what they're talking about in the back. Because at a higher frequency, the things that you've been praying for, like we've seen right here, eight of wands came out twice. It's going to happen double fast. Remember, Capricorn, your card is the devil card, which we don't see here, right? Unless it comes out in another, you know, but the devil card represents metaphysically us feeling like we made poor decisions in the past instead of saying, well, I learned lessons now. I don't want to repeat that. So let me ascend higher and operate in faith, right? Faith in God or most high God is source. Um, it also represents being uncertain or unsure about your own future when sources like I gave you dominion over your own life, not over somebody else's life. So, and I, and you have me with you everywhere you go. Cause I reside inside of you. This is source saying to you. So everywhere you go, you're going to prosper everywhere you go. You're making the right decision for yourself. There's a lesson, no matter how long or short you have to learn. Let, I mean, it's just like, it's all good. Cause it's all source. So here we have the three of cups. So I see somebody in the, pro, in the, in the um, posture of gratitude to source that you have the strength to sever ties with energies in love and just move on. Because for some of you all, you may not connect the ages between zero and seven with recent relationships. This person hurt me. How come they didn't close out the cycle? They broke my heart. But somebody's not connecting it to their own childhood and where it started. That's what Scorpio is going to do. Here we have the Ace of Wands. Somebody's third eye is wide open. Pay attention to all the messages that are coming through directly from source. Pay attention to all the messages that are coming through directly from source. Let's get ready to close it out. Let's go ahead and ready to close it out. So, yeah. It, this is a this is going to be a major sacrifice and for some people, but you have to sacrifice something. Something has to be sacrificed in order for you to live your absolute best life. But remember, money is just energy. So it's not about the biggest house, the biggest car, none of those things. It is literally, um, it's literally, um, um, this cutting could be cutting into somebody's reputation where somebody could think you can have, you could be spending so much time trying to clean up your own reputation. That's how damaging it is when you stay connected to people who are, who have either seen you as a cash cow or see you as a person that's going to, um, you know, seeing like, like they should have, they should have a better life than you should have. That comes some, out of some, some people's families. It's like, how did, how did um, Capricorn find their purpose before we did? They're younger than we are. How are they having all of these things? We got to keep you cut down a peg or two, that kind of thing. Like source wants you to free yourself. So start your abundance planning without them. Like I said, whoever's name pops up, Toss it into a fireball. I forgive you and I need to release you. You don't even need to know why God is downloading it into your mind because some, some past memories are just too overwhelming. It's too draining. It's, it's just too draining. Again, people that you, people that you decide, even if you, okay, let me just say this because you got a lot of ancestors around you. Even if you felt like you cut a person off too soon, a person who genuinely loves you 
will say, I wish you the best. No harm, no foul. I understand. I'm in my light. I get it. Some, you, you need to release some things. But people who had an ulterior motive from the start, they're angry. They're frustrated. Their whole world is out of alignment. You know, they get to bullying people and, and threatening to tell people secrets. And I know this about you. And I've been all of that. Release them. But luck is on your side. Luck is on your side. You see something from, again, an expanded view. Um, but again, it would be self-sabotage to stay in something. So we got we got double breakthrough here. We got double things that are going to happen for you fast. We got double wealth. And King of Pentacles is the wealthiest card in the deck. And you got two of them out here. We also have the Four of Pentacles. So there's a lot at stake here. Because the Four of Pentacles lets me know that somebody really feels like I'm 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 wondering should I should I just go ahead and take that leap of faith and sever ties with some energies? How is it gonna make me look? So somebody's been giving a lot of thought. It's almost like I'm sacrificing these relationships for money. You can look at it that way in a negative sense, or are you sacrificing your relationships for a peace of mind? Because there's no price tag you can put on that. Remember, money is just energy. So you can't put a price tag on peace. So anyway, that's what I'm seeing for you all. Um, so far, let's let's uh, pull a number card. Let's see what my, oh, here's my number cards. Let's pull a number card and let's go ahead and close this out. Number card and let's go ahead and close this out. Let's go ahead and close this out. So lots of wealth coming across somebody's path. And when I say wealth, remember, I'm not talking about just paper and coins. I'm talking about great credit. I'm talking about... Um, opportunities to create jobs and, um, you know, opportunities to, uh, for other people, you know, um, opportunities to have healthier relationships where you can get rooted and grounded somewhere. Like you can set up your tent, like pitch your tent somewhere and say, Hey, I decide I want to, you know, buy a house in this state or this city or province or whatever. And I'm building, I'm building relationships in that community. That's also wealth. All of those things healthy relationships. And that's what I'm seeing for somebody. So the number 10 came out. I am ingenious. That's right. I am ingenious. You have great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and it allows you to dream up ingenious ideas and organize all the details, then direct others to how to carry things out. Your number is 10. Let's pull an affirmation card and let's close it out. Affirmation card and let's close it out. Integrity. Yes, I choose my words wisely. My words are creating my reality. My speech matches my actions. I keep promises to myself. I am consistent. I am punctual. I accept the moment. I resonate with the highest truth. Yep. That is what I have for you, uh, Capricorn. Remember, we are not other people's gods. So we're not responsible for other people's salvation. That's something they have to find within and when I look at this with all of the thinking that has been going on about who and what you need to sail away from, I do see, like I said, because your card is the devil card, source really tries to speed things up for Capricorns in particular because your card is the devil card. And so you sitting and lingering in something like, oh my God, did I make the right decision? Source is going to speed it up and it's like double speeding up to let you know, yes, you made the right decision so that you can re so you can strengthen your faith in God and not sit there at a low frequency having conversations with the devil. I thought God was going to do this for me. I prayed and this didn't happen. You got to be 100% in like team God, team source, team most high God. It can't be any fear, any doubt, any you know, nothing. It's like, whatever I leave behind, I'm just going to have to, I, it's not a mistake because I know source is with me. God got my back, front, side, six, and everything else. That's what I have for you. I will see you all on Motivational Monday. Bye.